Welcome to module two on the usage of employee self-service portal, ESS. Today, we'll be discussing how to apply for leave on the ESS portal. So come along and enjoy this ride with us. So this is the landing page after you log in. Not that you do not have access to all the modules on the page. You only have access to those covered by the scope of this training series. To apply for leave, you go to the leave administ application entry under the leave administration module and it will take you here. The first thing you do is to change your leave start date because you cannot apply for leave on the same day you are to start your leave. If you, not, if you do not change the start date, you will not be able to edit the leave application form. Change the leave start date to at least the next day. Although you are expected to apply for your leave two weeks before the starting date. Now let us assume that you want to apply for a five day leave beginning on a Wednesday. You enter five on the box for leave days and impute two on the box for weekends since Saturday and Sunday are not work days so that the system can accurately calculate your leave end date. Also, if there is a public holiday, put the number of days for the public holiday in the box. Check the dates grayed out on the leave end date to confirm that your leave was calculated correctly. If you have someone you can hand over to, you can select the person's name from the drop down and enter the reason for your leave. It could be for resting, recuperating or enjoyment. <laughs> then you impute your HODs or supervisor's email, the name and phone number and save the record. Please inquire from your colleagues which supervisor detailed you to provide. It could be your ASM, RSM, or branch manager. This is to prevent your leave application from going to the wrong person. Click on save record. Immediately all the correct information has been added and your leave request to be sent to your supervisor. Also, if you made a mistake in your leave application, click on record list and select the leave in question. Change the start date and you can now edit the leave accordingly and hit save record after you are done. However, you will not be able to edit the leave if your supervisor has already approved. So make sure all the details are imputed correctly. If you cancel your leave plan, you can select the leave from the record list and hit delete. Also note that you cannot delete your leave application if your supervisor has already approved it. You can also see all the leave that has been approved since you have been applying by clicking on the HOD approval list. And leave that has been completely approved by your HOD and SOL, on the, you can see those ones on the leave approval record. The details on the, leave, on the approved leave can be printed and used as your leave advice in case you did not receive your leave advice in your email. After resuming from leave, you are also expected to complete the leave as on resumption form so your supervisor is aware that you have resumed. For the ladies, if you want to apply for maternity leave, it is also on the same page, leave application entry page, and in the drop down, you choose to choose your leave type, you select maternity leave. You will be required to upload your EDD documents. If you do not choose a file and upload the document, you would not be able to save the record. Impute all 60 days on the leave days. Leave public holiday at zero because public holiday does not count for maternity leave. It is not calculated for maternity leave. And 24 weekends. Please do not forget the 24 weekends as if you do not put the 24 weekends, it's not going to calculate the correct number of days and you'll be getting an earlier day to resume. Every other process remains the same as stated before. So here are the highlights on what you have learned so far in this module. Number one, you cannot apply for leave on the day that your leave is about to start. Number two, impute weekends and holidays, if any, in the leave application details. Number three, you can edit and delete your leave if your supervisor has not approved it. 
and number four the correct details of your supervisor should be imputed thank you for joining us on this training please do well to subscribe to all our social media channels